even if you know about it how then can one advance new, new jerusalem without knowing about it therefore god revealed new jerusalem to the apostle john and let him write about in detail in the bible revelation 21 explains new jerusalem in depth and john was moved just by looking at the excerpt of it he confessed in revelation 21 10 to 11 and he carried me away in the spirit a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god having the glory of god her brilliance was like a very costly stone as a stone of a crystal clear jasper i will also continually read about uh, con- yeah. continually read about uh, the god's throne in new jerusalem is a throne of god how full of god's glory would new jerusalem be since god himself dwells in it that's why you can see that people are glo- giving glory thanks and honor to god day and night in revelation 4:8 and the four living creatures each one of them having six wings are full of eyes around and within and day and night they do not cease to say holy 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 is lord god and the almighty who was and who is and who is to come new jerusalem is also called the holy city because it is made in new with the word of god who is a truthful blameless and the light itself without any darkness found in him jerusalem is the place where jesus who came in the flesh to open the way of salvation for all mankind preached the gospel and fulfilled the law with love therefore god built new jerusalem for all believers who fulfilled the law with love to stay wow My hope for New Jerusalem grew from listening to your reading and I hope to enter New Jerusalem by purifying my heart. I can feel the beauty of heaven just by looking at the cover of this book Heaven 2. How did you first hear about this book? well this book uh, you know that uh, we are the publishers mm-hmm. and um, every time we look for the new, uh, the best uh, seller books best authors yes. and uh, as i uh, remember that uh, this was actually uh, uh, just my memory calling back for 2002 mm-hmm. uh, the servant of god dr lee jerock visited india mm-hmm. for uh, we had a massive crowd and crusade and uh, one of the historical event took place in chennai and uh, which uh, people it reminds in people's mind till today mm-hmm. and uh, as they talk about lot those days i think in the beginning i heard lot about this author mm-hmm. and uh, because of the crusade and uh, especially miracle taking place and uh, entire chennai crowd is filling to the st- uh, the place where the meeting took place mm-hmm. as a publishers uh, later we come to know that uh, i think uh, through different one that uh, there are a lot of books available by him mm-hmm. then one or other way uh, why has published this uh, his books yes. and uh, that's where i started to read and uh, started to know more, know more about uh, mm-hmm. so that is uh, my journey began with uh, dr uh, books mm-hmm. and uh, i started to read number of books mm-hmm. and uh, also distribute a lot uh, mm-hmm. in my region and to the people in churches everywhere So this is where I started to begin and uh, distribute and read mm-hmm. and to explain about these books. Mm-hmm. During this visit, you had a chance to meet with the author, Dr. Jerrod Lee. How did you feel after meeting Dr. Lee? Well, uh, that was one of our dream and uh, I have no words to express. I think I don't think so it's very difficult to uh, meet him and uh, but uh, I thank God personally mm-hmm. uh, thank for the people who made uh, this uh, opportunity to see him mm-hmm. and I believe moreover that God's plan perfectly fulfilled mm-hmm. and uh, we have prayed uh, to see for uh, Dr Lee Jerock uh, the servant of God because we have been reading and we have been hearing from different one have been watching over the telecasting programs and uh, mm-hmm. all the miracle crusades mm-hmm. and uh, i have my own uh, uh, experience with uh, him mm-hmm. and all this uh, this is what uh, in our mind i just want to see and uh, how is he and i uh, just uh, like to sit near to him that is a great opportunity i got it on the other day when uh, i met him mm-hmm. i think it's uh, i feel uh, very much enjoyment and a mm-hmm. joyful day which uh, i can't forget in my life and uh, that is the yes. 
I heard you experienced the power of God through the author. Would you tell us about it? Wife was carrying uh, for second baby. At the time that uh, third, fourth test when we went, uh, they were advised and they were informed by doctors that uh, there is some problem in the tomb. So that's made us to think and doctor advised. We are not sure that how it's going to be, but to let it go. And uh, so they said, let it go. And uh, this is a situation, they told us. But we worried a lot and we checked with pastor. Pastor uh, Josephine encouraged us uh, by uh, with uh, saying that you don't worry that uh, we have a pastor who will pray and a uh, lot of miracles taken place as you have seen, you have read. Uh, why can't you have a faith and uh, send the prayer request to the church here in Korea? Mm -hmm. And that's where we have written and we have given to the pastor. Pastor send the information to Korea. Mm -hmm. Pastor here, a servant of God, prayed for her daughter from pulpit. Mm -hmm. And that message has come to India through cassette. Mm -hmm. Baby was perfectly all right. Uh, they said that uh, uh, we have doctor said that uh, it's a miracle, I mean, God is a great, I never expected. As per the medical reports, as per the, all the checkups, they said, mm -hmm. question mark, till baby come out. So the baby is okay now. Baby is all right, she'll, yes. now she's uh, five years old. Yes, God is great. Please pray for our GCM viewers and for the future readers of Heaven too. Lord, and uh, so all marvelously book has come. I want to pray and commit, Lord, people who is going to read, who are reading, let their hearts maybe really bring closer to you, Lord, and bring the glory and honor to you. Bless all the people, even Lord, those who are involved with distributing, those involved with uh, in other activities. We thank you, Lord, for such a wonderful opportunity which you have given to me to see all our friends here, Lord, to see our servant of God, even the author of the book, Lord. It's a great excitement, Lord. Father, continually lead us, uh, continually give us the great joy and enjoyment, uh, Lord, and uh, as we, the days goes. Uh, thank you for hearing our prayer and answering and blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your time. Thank you. Twelve Foundations of New Jerusalem written in heaven too. Just imagining it is blissful, don't you think? It is brilliant. <laughs> I agree. Mr. Joseph Thomas, who I introduced, confessed that he was so impressed with this book that he named his daughter Jacinth of the Twelve Foundations. Yes. It must not be easy to express the spiritual realm in human language. Mm -hmm. After reading this book, I felt thrilled, as if I was looking at the city of New Jerusalem in front of my eyes. Right. Yes. I also felt happy reading Heaven too. I think mm -hmm. the readers of this book must have had similar feelings as me. Can you tell us what are their responses? Let me introduce a few reviews that were posted on the website. IDSU5293 wrote, he introduces the lives of the fathers of faith and how they reached the highest position as creations. And focusing on the life of Mary Magdalene in detail, he gives the readers hope for New Jerusalem, which was posted on the website. And IDKIJERK says, the author says that even the paradise where those who were barely saved will dwell is much better than the Garden of Eden. Although he already knew about the betrayal of Lucifer, corruption of Adam, and the crucifixion of his one and only son, the ultimate purpose that God began human cultivation was to lead his children to enter New Jerusalem, he says. So he emphasizes that we should be sanctified to fulfill his earnest wish, which was that review. And likewise, we must be sanctified to enter New Jerusalem. Mm, yes. You're right. Yes. Jenny also prepared a review, right? Yes, I prepared one. And I really like the title, Heaven. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Mm. Yes, yes. Heaven. Yes. So, Heaven too. I prepared the review by Paige Lovett from Texas, United States of America, who says this book was spiritually touching oh. spiritually touching i look forward to it yes. spiritually touching
Reverend Dr. Gerog Lee prayed and fastened to obtain answers about what heaven is really like. After seven years, he received his answers. New Jerusalem is the holiest place in heaven as revealed to him by God. It is where the throne of God is, and it contains the spiritual summit where God divided himself into the Holy Trinity. There are many biblical quotes used to support his assertions. Reverend Dr. Lee describes the physical aspects of New Jerusalem, including its incredibly beauty, and then he relates the physical aspects to their spiritual significance. There are 12 foundations with 12 spiritually significant jewels. 12 angels guard the 12 gates and the names of the names of the 12 tribes and 12 disciples are found all over New Jerusalem. Everything that comprises New Jerusalem is made up of the number 12, which is the number of light. By teaching us about this incredible place, Reverend Dr. Lee hopes that this knowledge will bring us closer to God and help motivate us to stay on our spiritual path so that we can one day go there. Mm -hmm. Paige Lovett from Texas, USA. Yes, heaven too. People in the world are sharing the effects they receive this way. Yes. Pastor Lee, we should live our believing lives well in order to go to New Jerusalem, right? Absolutely. New Jerusalem is a place in heaven where only people who are not only sanctified but also faithful in his house can enter. Amen. Dear viewers, I hope that you may be sanctified by getting rid of evil in the heart and circumcising your heart as much as you long for New Jerusalem and be faithful with emitting the aroma of the Christ in every place such as your home, work or church so that you can meet in New Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. A wonderful time of reading in Christian life. Will it continue on to next week? Yes, of course. Next week, we will read Hell with Econist Elena Shrakov, a Russian translator from New York, USA. Oh, hell exists as heaven exists, right? That's right. We'll look forward to next time. Reporter Joe, thank you for today. You're welcome. To those who send viewers comments, we will present one of the books of Udim Books, spreading the light of life as a gift by a raffle. It's time to wrap up today's We Are GCN. Hope you all enjoyed today's program. Amen. We will meet you next time with more happy and joyful stories. I am Chloe Hong of We Are GCN. I am Dong Shikhan. Have, Have a great, great day filled, filled with the Holy Spirit. Spirit.